Today we're going to have a look at changing the written instructions and key in a chart in Stitch Mastery into a different language. Within Stitch Mastery version 3 and above, we have English available as the default language, but the Stitch libraries and text templates are also translated into German and Danish, translations which were done by Stitch Master users. At the time of recording, we also have some more translations in progress, so the next update will have some more languages available, and we hope to extend that. We are always happy to hear from anyone who feels that they might be able to do that work for us. We do pay for it, but please do get in touch to discuss what exactly is involved and also to check that the language that you're interested in doing isn't already a work in progress by somebody else. But to explain how to translate your charts, as you can see, my key and chart instructions are all in English at the moment. And if we come to Diagram and Edit Diagram Properties, then click on the Stitch Library and Text Templates tab. First we have the Stitch Library and you can see currently my charts are using the Stitch Mastery dot English Stitch Library. And from the drop down menu I'm going to select the Stitch Mastery dot Deutsch or German. And in the template style sheet, again, instead of the default, we're going to choose the German default text template. I'm going to select the box that says refresh text in key, because obviously we have some text in the key and I'm making changes to settings that are going to affect the key. So I want the software to update the text and make those changes. So click OK. And the software has automatically updated the text in most of the key, including the title of the key, and also in the output text. You will spot two things. The titles of the charts haven't been changed, and that's because the translations are based around the wording from the stitches and also the things that are involved in the text templates, so things like the words for row or round, the software is not connected to a global translation program, so you might choose any number of words in a chart title and the software couldn't possibly hold the translations for all of those different words. So if you were planning to publish a pattern in a different language, you will need to find an alternative way of translating your chart titles and either add that into your final pattern layout or of course you can update and paste the new word into your chart. And the other thing to note is that the yarn colours have not updated. So both in the written and in the key, we have green, we have white. And again, this is because we have the ability in the software to create custom colours with any given names that you wish to choose. So a whole gamut of words that could be used to describe a colour. But we will see that the default colours in the colour palette have been updated. So it's very quick and simple to update the colour in the key and the written to the translated version if you've used the default colours. So what I'm going to do first of all, selecting the German version of the green, so this is the same shade of green as I've used in the chart originally, I'm just going to paint over one of the stitches. And as you can see, that has now added the German version to my key and updated that one particular stitch in my written instructions. And I will now select the key entry for the original green, making sure that you're clicking on the actual square, not just the word, and hit delete. The software alerts you that stitches in the key are still using the yarn that's going to be deleted. So it's saying, what should I do with these stitches that are in this green that you want to delete? So select a yarn to replace the deleted yarn and our German green is available. So select that, click OK. And as we see in the key, we've now got rid of the original green and in our written instructions, all of those stitches have been updated. As with any other files that you export to text, you have the option to include the stitch glossary and written instructions and come sample chart. Then we can see that in our stitch glossary we have the full explanations of how to work the stitches also translated.